Hello and welcome to our briefing regarding the climate for 2014-2015 winter season. My name is Christine Cruz and I'm a meteorologist with the National Weather Service in Salt Lake City, Utah. To start, we will be discussing the temperatures experienced across the state for the meteorological winter of 2014-2015. What is meteorological winter? It is the months of December through February and it is how our climate statistics for the seasons are computed, even though it can remain quite cold and snowy long past the end of February. Here is the average temperature departure from normal for the winter season across the country. Remember, when we say winter, we mean the months of December through February. Across Utah, temperatures average between 5 and 10 degrees above normal through the winter period. And if you've watched the news at all lately, you will see confirmation that the eastern half of the country was well below normal. Let's break it down by month. The first image displays how many degrees above normal temperatures averaged across the southwest for December 2014 with much of Utah averaging between 5 and 10 degrees above normal. The warm temperatures continued into January, with temperatures again averaging between 5 and 10 degrees above normal. Finally, for February, temperatures ranged between 7 and 13 degrees above normal. Record warm winter seasons were recorded in several locations. Both Salt Lake City and Provo BYU experienced the warmest winter on record. Logan reported the second warmest winter on record. Cedar City, the seventh warmest winter on record, and St. George, the fourth warmest winter on record. Next up, how did this winter compare to others snowfall-wise? Many locations experienced near to record low amounts of accumulating snow. Both Salt Lake City and Provo BYU received their lowest seasonal total of snow on record. Logan experienced the 14th lowest snowfall on record, but there was an exception. The late February snowstorms across southern Utah combined with heavy snow across southeastern Utah during December, helped to bring totals high enough to allow Bullfrog to experience the third snowiest winter on record, and Kodachrome Basin State Park to experience the fourth snowiest winter on record. It should be noted that Kodachrome continued to receive heavy snow into March, receiving 50 inches of snow in less than two weeks. Next, how did the winter of 2014-2015 compare precipitation-wise? Here is the percent of precipitation compared to normal received from meteorological winter across the country. The yellow colors indicate below normal precipitation. Much of Utah experienced below normal precipitation with a few areas a bit above normal. Let's go month by month with the precipitation. The winter transitioned from a relatively wet December to a very dry February for most of Utah. The first map on the left shows the percent of normal precipitation across the southwest for December 2014. Much of Utah experienced above average precipitation for the month of December. January was drier with a good portion of the state experiencing below normal precipitation. By February, precipitation was averaging well below normal for much of Utah, with some areas receiving no precipitation at all during the month. Now on to a few memorable weather events during the winter of 2014-2015. December ended in a wild fashion with heavy snow bringing a white Christmas to much of Utah. Another winter storm on December 28th through December 30th helped to fuel a downslope windstorm across the northern Wasatch Front, as well as more accumulating snow to much of Utah. Even Bullfrog in southeastern Utah received 8.5 inches of snow with this storm. High pressure remained in place for most of January and February, but two winter storms impacted the southern half of Utah during the last week of February. Snow was measured in feet rather than inches across portions of southern Utah, including Kodachrome Basin State Park and Cedar City. This snowy pattern continued into March for southern Utah. So in summary, Utah experienced a warm, relatively dry winter. The winter of 2014-15 was the warmest on record for Salt Lake City and several other sites across northern Utah. This winter was also the least snowy winter on record for Salt Lake City with near record snow widespread across much of the state. February was also the warmest February on record for Salt Lake City. To mark the end of winter, several large winter storms brought heavy snow to southern Utah. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to send us an email. You can also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Have a great day.